morning. It's 6 30. Past, uh, past seven right now. I like to get to the court about 20 minutes before I start at least. Just had a little breakfast. Probably need like 15, 20 minutes to digest it uh, when it's just like instant oats. You know, just rest a little bit on the roof before uh, getting to the court to start the, the warm up and get ready. Oh, and for those who don't know, I'm, I'm currently in Monster Tunisia uh, playing these tournaments. Kind of host tournaments here almost year round. And so if you're trying to, to climb up the, the pro circuit, it has its ups and downs. I mean, it is a little tricky being at the same place, same food, same everything, but it is pretty convenient though when it comes to the logistics about it and, and stuff like that. So for the morning session, we ended up sharing a court. Unfortunately, like we really tried to get a full court because we both wanted to play a lot of points because we we're both out of the tournament, but it is what it is. And it's very tough with practice courts here, especially because there's just a lot of players uh, around at these tournaments. So we try to make the most out of it, just, just warming up some half court, hitting through all the shots. Just trying to, to bring the intensity, even though it is a little harder as you're kind of more in the same spot as you're using half the court. But we kind of went into hitting some cross court, kind of down the line, hitting volleys, everything, just, just hitting through all the shots. And then finish it off with just a lot of serve and returns, just to, to really kind of focus on, on the details, just trying to hit through everything. And couldn't really do much more in the morning session, unfortunately, because at like 8.30, Everybody that's about to play matches at 9.30 or 9 starts showing up for their warm-ups and then it's, it's really tough to, to try to get any spots on the court. So it was a little unfortunate because I think most of the courts actually had two players on them. But I think, yeah, we got into the spot where no matter where we go, we're always going to share with, with someone. So kind of stuck between two rocks there, but try to make the most out of it. And uh, yeah, that was the morning session. Sorry to stop it there. Just wanted to give a quick reminder that I do offer online video coaching. Maybe you have that friend that plays that really annoying and, and strange tennis that you just can't seem to figure out. Or if you have some lead play and you really want to improve and get to the next division, just look no further. Just simply send me some footage of you playing. I'll make sure to go through it. I'll find some tips and tricks for you that I really think is going to take your tennis to the next level. So if that is of interest to you, make sure to head to Pillar. You'll find all the relevant info there, how to proceed and, and how it works. And I'm really looking forward to help taking your tennis to the next level. Thank you and let's get back to the video. Good job Vito. <sighs> I feel like we got so unlucky though. Every court is two players except for one where uh, two people just come on our court to warm up and there's nothing we can do. If they want to share the court they share the court but then we just get stuck as we're trying to play points and no matter which court we go to there's always going to be four players just so unlucky I guess. So, yeah. Practice got cut a little short because uh, we just couldn't get a full court, even though we had it booked and everything. But yeah, it is what it is. And uh, now I guess just back to the room, shower, get a little bigger breakfast, and then probably won't do much until after lunch. We'll try to get get in the gym, and then we'll try to get another evening session. Then try to get a full court somehow. Uh, just really trying to play points, try to maintain as act as I'm in the tournament still. So I'm, I don't know. Keep trying to make the most of it, I guess, and uh, let's see how it goes. So after uh, morning practice and uh, a little breakfast, just had a little editing session, and then just gonna get grab some lunch and then uh, try to scavenge for a uh, practice court in the afternoon. Just got a text from my friend that uh, he just finished his doubles match and we talked about playing some later today so i think they have a court there so i'm running over to them right now and hoping we can play some some full court points so for the second session after not being able to play on a full court in the morning uh it was really just trying to be as effective as possible you know only like five minute warm up and then just got straight into points i played together with uh, Heidi habib who's an extremely heavy hitter great player and i think he sits around like the 300 mark 
really starting to to claw on that Grand Slam qualifying spot, which I'm I'm very confident that he's going to get there sooner than later. He really hits a great ball and has some great help now in his team. And yeah, shout out to him for for really putting in the work, and I'm sure it's going to pay off soon. But yeah, I mean the session just after a quick warm up, get into the points, uh, just try to get some full points in and everything. Work on our, our different things in more of a match format, obviously. Unfortunately, the the camera cut off. We we had to switch courts after about half an hour, and when I switched, I think I maybe messed something up with with starting the recording. But we played points for about an hour and a half, uh, just playing put through everything, trying to keep the intensity up, and yeah, just had a great session there. Uh, it was great to get into points after missing out on that in the morning. Yeah, it is very tricky playing against Haiti because I mean he has such a huge serve. And I got him. I don't know if you can see it here in the footage, but I mean his kick serve really just pops on you like it bounces up so much it's, it's very difficult to try to decide like if you want to try to take it early or wait for it down but and after that like he hits you with that heavy kick and then he just looks for that figure hand of his and it's very tough to get away from it once he once he get once gets one of those and uh yeah it, it is very tricky playing against a player that you know hits the ball so heavy every time and and i guess you just have to try to kind of scrape around it try to look for every opportunity you get and not fall into kind of like a pattern of, of being a little too passive, which is very easy um, to happen, you know, if somebody just is all over you every time. So when you actually finally get opportunity to be a little aggressive, it's sometimes very hard to, to take that or get on it as it, it's almost like a little shock if it doesn't happen too much. So that's where it's very important just to stay focused and, and always look for the opportunities. And it's just a great session overall. I mean, he really puts pressure on me just keeping me stressed all the time and and that's just something I need to keep improving on and, and working on so great session here great opportunity and uh, yeah great session there with Mr. Habib second session of tennis done I had a good hit with uh, Mr. Habib two players that hit the ball as clean as he does uh, yeah actually I mean some points I just really feel like a beginner on the court against him he hits the ball so heavy make sure to keep an eye on that guy he's for sure gonna make some moves I'm gonna try to get into the gym but sometimes now in the afternoon it's usually pretty packed so we'll see what we have to work with here so after the second session of tennis I headed to the weight room it's actually a little crazy story with the weight room because the first week I was here there was horrible weather and there was a storm and and the the windows in the weight room actually broke so the whole weight room got kind of destroyed so they had to move everything to a separate room that was kind of close by and uh, ever since then it's just been kind of packed in the weight room and uh, for this day I just mainly wanted to go through a couple of core exercises just to get a little explosive go through it but not the longest session and uh, kind of finish it off with a little bike a couple minutes on the bike but mainly just trying to be very explosive there a little heavier weights on the on the med ball and just trying to be very explosive and the core just short and effective really that's the trick here so just finished with the weights uh pretty much back to the room now just uh not the longest session just trying to to break down the nervous system a little bit um it's thursday today so i probably don't have a match until early as sunday so i can kind of just break down a little bit and try to uh, top it up until the matches start. Beautiful day out here today. Gotta say, I mean, it's, it's by far the, the best day it's been here, uh, weather-wise so far. So, really enjoying it. It's pretty much perfect. Like, no, not much wind. Pretty much done with most of my workouts today. We'll see. I'm just gonna rest a little bit now and then, then get go for dinner and might call it a day. Try to get some editing in and, and see where we're at. Yeah. So it's about 10 p.m. finishing up the day with a little uh, foot bath to <laughs> to recover and uh, just take care of my feet and uh, yeah that about sums up the day. I thank you guys for <laughs> for tagging along and if you haven't done so already, I mean liking and subscribing really does help out a lot and uh, yeah see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.